was packed as tight as it could be for the second test match, which opened in glorious weather. Some 30,000 were there when Hutton spun the coin and Hassett called correctly. This was bad luck for England, who had to take the field. Sir Donald Bradman was present, but strictly in the role of critic today. The Australian skipper, accompanied by left-hander Morris, came out to face the onslaught of the formidable Bedsa. Quite early on, Hassett nearly gave a chance, or perhaps it was one, but he survived anyway. Now Statham at full speed. Hassett scores to leg, and England's former captain Brown feels the ball. Runs were coming along all right when Hutton and Brown had a conference on tactics, and Brown took a turn from the nursery end. The Australian Premier, Mr Menzies, and the Duke of Norfolk were two very keen spectators, and presently when Benzer came on again, they saw Morris beautifully stumped by Evans for 30. Harvey followed him at the wicket with the score 1 for 65. Bedser got him LBW later when he'd scored 59. Next, that great all-rounder Miller, who stayed to make 25 and to see his captain pass the 100. And then, bad luck for Hassett, a leg strain. Soon afterwards forced him to retire for the time being. And my hat, was it hot out there. A little refreshment now and then was most welcome. Spectators, too, seemed to feel the heat. when well, none of us quite used to it this year so far. Wardle had a most successful spell of bowling. He had whole court for 13, and he kept up the good work presently getting Benno LBW. Then he got another wicket before the end of the day, no less a man than Miller. Cricket fans, present in full force next day, saw Hassett take up his innings again. And after adding three to his score, he was out off Bedzer Court Bailey. <laughs> Linwell gave Hutton a sharp one, close in. And presently Statham dismissed the Australian fast bowler, clean bowl for nine. Bad luck seemed to be dogging Hutton. First he got a nasty crack on the elbow, later damaged the thumb and had to leave the field. Now Brown took over the captaincy. Full marks go to Davidson for his knock of 76, and Langley was nicely caught by Watson off Bedsa. The Australians finished up with a total of 346.